Hey guys, Popcorn here. It's been a while. Uh, haven't made a video in a certain amount of time, but the whole topic and goal of today's video is to hopefully give you, the viewer, whom I'm assuming you've searched up budget water cooling. So the whole topic of today is to kind of give you some idea of what you can really accomplish for about 50 bucks. Um, I have managed to outdo um, Linus Tech Tips and uh, not to sound cocky or anything like that but uh, Linus Tech Tips if you don't know who that is immediately go subscribe to his channel and watch everything because I don't know the guy's just a complete genius at what he does but his video which I will link in the description the specific video is budget water cooling and he managed to get a CPU water block some tubing I think in the pricing a pump and a radiator off Amazon for like um, I forget like 48 bucks or so something like that I've managed to outdo him in what I purchased from Amazon as well. I totaled about $49, 50 bucks, I think. And um, I, I didn't get a reservoir. I didn't get any tubing. Tubing I got from Canadian Tire for like six bucks, but either way, um, totaling is about $49. That's what I paid for my radiator. That's what I paid for the tubing. That's what I paid for my graphics card water block. And that's what I paid for um, the secondary water pump that I have because I wanted to make sure I had enough head pressure. Um, oh, and I guess if you're gonna include another five bucks for some antifreeze from the hardware store. The reason you wanna use antifreeze is so it, it, it has anti-corrosive properties to it. If you're mixing metals in your loop, which any water cooler knows, um, if you're using plain water, it will corrode eventually and potentially enough to make a hole in the metal and start leaking. You don't wanna do that. Not only that, but uh, antifreeze or ethylene glycol has a higher boiling point and absorbs heat better as composed to or sorry opposed to plain water so you want to make sure you're using some antifreeze but without further ado this is what i've come up with this is your average run-of-the-mill uh, tupperware container from the kitchen that's what i'm using for a reservoir Tubing, like I said, six bucks a Canadian tire. I think it's like, I think a 10, 12 feet of it. That there's the little pump I got for five bucks from Amazon. It's a submersible, generic ass fish tank water pump. Uh, and it originally came with a USB plug on it, but that only runs five volts and that doesn't create enough pressure. So I cut the USB end off. I wired it up to a little Molex connector, which I plugged into this power supply so I could jump start and flush the loop. Uh, cheap, crappy, generic one out of a, some kind of computer. But that's what I'm using to power that and the secondary pump, which I'll get to in a minute. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm using for a reservoir. As you can see, it's flowing. Not as much flow as maybe I'd like, but I still have a few bugs I gotta get out of the loop. I, th I think there's some air in there somewhere. This is all temporary. This is all like I just threw it together like maybe four days ago and have been testing with it, so this is not permanent by any means, but $28 right there. 200, 240 millimeter 
sort of thick radiator. Linus only had 120 millimeter, which is kind of boggles my mind, but $28 for this from China. And I got two 120 millimeter fans on there from the original Corsair H80. Now this is what I was talking about, the second pump. Um, okay, obviously this is going to void any kind of warranty you have with Corsair or the store you bought it from if you purchased in-store product replacement. I, however, don't care. You can, in fact, cut off the original tubing. This is also a second 120 millimeter, really thick radiator that came with the Corsair H80. You can cut off the original tubing and replace it with your own. Yes, I said, like I said, it will avoid warranty, but does it really matter if you're trying to go budget? No. You can see the fittings on there still turn. I'll just put some hose clamps on it. Real simple. They still, they still move and whatnot. Uh, um, but yeah, like I said, original radiator that came with that tubing, two other 120 millimeter push pull config. Uh, I found these in a box that I had from a while ago. That's a Cooler Master and that one in the back, I have no idea. But uh, the Corsair H80 and this pump are running off this power supply so I can jump it and flush the loop, so to speak. But um, and then, okay, this is kind of going to be a little difficult to show, but uh, that's my C uh, graphics card water block. Again, $5, it's aluminum from China. I can't explain and describe how cheap this actually was, but <laughs> I seen another guy on YouTube do this how that's mounted on there if you can see on the top of the graphics card there's a screw there and a screw there which I found from something and repurposed because there's no screw there and there so, depending on what case you have your PCI back plates for, like in, in the case that's all I used the hole in the end there the hole in the end here, I made a big enough hole for those screws to fit through, and that's how it's holding on the seat or the water block on the underside. Like, okay, yes, it's not like it's not gonna hold it there if you're tugging on it, but it, if it's just sitting there, it holds it in place. <laughs> And it works pretty well not to mention cheap I'm not made of money and the money I did have I originally blew on my x99 platform which now is an x299 I got a MSI SLI plus they're they're pretty wicked man but um, so here's how the loops going submersible pump into this rad it's sucking air through that way and then coming out going up to the Corsair H80 so the CPU is fresh cold liquid and then out of the processor we're going to this radiator that was originally with it uh, and then out of this rad we're going down to the graphics card and then graphics card back out here into the reservoir yes it will it does heat up the reservoir but the temperature at which this liquid can reach is not it does not affect that pump whatsoever it's not it's not hot enough to really degrade it by any means so that's the only reason I am heating my reservoir um, that and it's kind of just cool because if I run Prime 95, actually I'll do it here really quick. Uh, Prime 95. 
five. Small FFTs. Here's the thing. I'm running 4.5 gigahertz. Well, if Prime isn't running. I overclocked it to 4.5 with 1.4 volts. Just to make sure it's stable. Yes, I will fine tune it after, don't worry. But um, 4.5 gigahertz, 100 degrees. And now if I run MSI combustor and max it to the screen, 70 degrees and there's no ramping up of fans from the original cooler or anything like that it's the exact same decibel and it's actually not that loud the loudest part in this system is that fan right there because it's on I just kind of have it plugged in there to run 100% to give some incidental cooling up onto the graphics card for the VRM or voltage regulator, regulator modules if you don't have that fan there for incidental cooling, black screens will occur, I can promise you. It's, I thought I could get away with not having the fan, but turns out not. No, the, like I was saying, the other cool thing about that is just if, you're max, if I'm maxing it out just to kind of touch it with my hand and feel the temperature difference, it's kind of neat, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, um, I could, even with some air in the system somewhere, because it's not as cool as I'd like it to be, it's still running fairly cool, um, but I don't know, I just hope this gives you guys some fucking idea of what you can achieve for literally $49. Um, I'm not sure why Linus wasn't able to get a, that's that big of a radiator and whatnot, but <laughs> two rads, you can use the original or repurpose Corsair H80s and shit like that with custom tubing. Even if, even if you don't have another rad you want to buy and you're only doing your CPU system, you can replace the tubing on your cool, uh, all-in-one cooler. You just gotta cut it off and put on some hose clamps. That's all there is to it. But yeah, $49 guys. <laughs> well, sorry if, if you're not including the antifreeze. So, I mean, hopefully it gives you some inspiration or whatever, or some ideas. If, uh, if this did help you out or whatever, uh, subscribe, rate, leave me a comment, tell me what you think. Um, yeah, that's all I got for today, guys. Sorry for my unscriptedness, but that's just what I got going on here. So, anyway... Have a good one, guys. We'll see you in the next video.